met your husband through a mutual friend. Yes. And you played hard to get for a little while. Not deliberately, I just wasn't interested. Um, Why were you not? Okay, so he is a friend of a comedian friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And this is all, it was such a lovely thing at 30. I turned 30 in Perth and I went, um, I'll move to Melbourne. I've got nothing to lose. I'm single with no job and I'm 30. Oh. <laughs> and moved to Melbourne, got an agent, got a job, got a husband within months. It was just, it all happened. Yeah. It's almost like you have to completely give up for the good things to happen. Yeah. So I met this guy at a gig and he was, he's handsome. And um, put in just such a, you know, like I, I think, I think I said to him a few weeks later, something like, you just look, you were too good looking to be interesting. Ah. And so I'd been on stage and I'd done a joke about how I like to carry in a texter with me at all times so I can draw dicks and dick and balls on things. Because I just because yeah. they make anything funnier. They do. Yeah, they do. They do. And because it's such a joy. If you ever go going through an old textbook and you find a dick and balls, do you ever think less of the person that drew that? You're always no. like, oh good on you. I love it when you're in an aeroplane flicking through that mag yeah. and you're like who sat here before makes, me, we could be friends. It makes you so happy. It does, it is. So I did a bit of comedy about that and he came up afterwards and he, so he's just this guy that was with my comedian friend and he came over and he's like, oh yeah, do you really care? And I was like, yeah, and I took the texture. I was like, yeah, I carry a texture. <laughs> but I had somewhere else to be that night and, I, and, so, and I'm just suspicious of who would talk to somebody that they'd just seen on stage. Right. Who would do that? So I was yeah. like, yeah, 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 I do carry it. So anyway, I've got to go. And I just left. I really just blew him off quickly. Right. It's just some good looking guy. Just, it, was, it just didn't interest me. Um, mm. A few weeks later, I was even less interested. I was moving house. Um, oh, look, everything. Moving house, first day of my period, hadn't washed my hair. It's like full of house moving dust. I was moving from a place that had a narrow wooden staircase to the second floor, so I was carrying my things down. Right. It was just one of those horrible days, and I'd started early, and it was at 11 o'clock at night, and I'd promised his friend that I was going to make him a costume for his Melbourne Comedy Festival show. Right. He, was, he wanted to do an interpretive dance to show his love for his old Kingswood that had died, so I was making him a brown jumpsuit with a white back. Right, right, right. Um, and I'm pretty good at sewing. And um, so I just had to stop by this gig and measure him up after the gig. 11 o'clock at night, dirt through my hair, dirty face, yeah. house moving clothes, stinky, just so tired and over it. And I'm like, let's just get this measuring up done. And his bloody friend, his bloody good looking friend is there. Polak's drunk and like sharking, you know that thing where you're like in a conversation and doing the measuring and you can see in your peripheral and just kind of walking around yeah. like, and you're like, oh, here we go. And he was up against so much because I'm sober and cranky. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And looking revolting by mm, the sound but of it. But then that's, isn't it great when you meet the love of your life and you look terrible? Because yes. you're like, we're no done. Where to go, but Yeah, <laughs> yes, totally. Yeah, so he just persisted with a chat. And he is quite, he's actually quite a funny man, it turns out. And it was, yeah, it was definitely a sense of humour and the fact that we're, he was like, can I get you a drink? And I'm like, um, get me a water. And I got yeah. it, I'm drinking a water. And he was like, do you want to come back to my place? No funny business. I just hired Anchor Man. Ah. And I had recently made a resolution that I wasn't going to date any more arty guys because you, because you pretend to be more interesting than you are with arty guys. Yes. And I just wanted, and this is the thing that I'd said, I just wanted the sort of guy I could sit on the couch and watch a Will Ferrell film with. So his timing was incredible. And then he asked you to go home he and He said, watch. come back with me, no funny business, watch Home Command. And I was like, and it was, and I finally started actually looking him in the eye and talking to him. And we kissed by the end of the night. Daddy bitch. 